welcome back again children so in the last class we finished gloss of teratacea uh, coming under the fossil gymnosperms okay now let us move on to our next family that is chitoniaceae okay the term chitonia is there in your syllabus that you have to study so this fossil was first described by thomas in 1925 and this is observed in the middle jurassic period okay and also observed from the bay in yorkshire and usually this uh, fossil chitonia is found as compressed type and very detailed account of anatomy morphology was well studied and also the reproductive part is also very important they are having some phylogenetic importance so this family is uh, sometimes considered as the um, while discussing the evolution of angiosperms this is considered as one of the ancestor so there are some relationship with some morphological similarity with angiosperms in the reproductive part so this family have its own phylogenetic importance okay so let us move on one by one so the leaf part of chitonaceae is known as saginopterus you have to remember the term teris that is concerned with the leaf usually in the case of fossils so saginopterus is the leaf part Uh, this is the compressed or fossilized leaf part and megasporophyll is the chitonia i already told chitonia is the term type chitonia so chitonia is the female reproductive part the megasporophyll so this is the well uh, well studied part of chitonia and this is the uh, structure of the chitonia so just look into it Uh, you can uh, have a some similarity you can see some similarity with angiosperms um, fruit like nature um, a closed fruit like nature seeds arranged inside so these are some uh, some uh, i mean uh, some confusions regarding uh, that it leads to the evolution of angiosperms so in the theory of while well, discussing the theory of evolution of angiosperms you can trace this as one of the ancestor so there are chitonian theory to explain the evolution of angiosperms this is because of its similarity with the angiosperms in the in with respect to the megasporophyll or the female reproductive part clear now the microsporophyll or male reproductive part is chitonanthus male reproductive part is chitonanthus see this is the male reproductive part see the arrangement also while cut open you can see four chambers microsporangia it also resembles our anther hmm? so when you cut an anther you can see four chambers microsporangia so here it also shows some similarity with with anthers that is the another peculiar uh, i mean uh, character of chitonaceae so this is very much phylogenetically important the chitonaceae family okay now let us look on to one by one saginotus is the leaf this is a leaf portion and uh, this is uh, several species of leaves were discovered but uh, later it is found that all of them belongs to same plant uh, explained by thomas okay leaf having a slender petiole of 3 uh, to 6 leaflets 3 to 6 leaflets and they are lanceolate the shape is lanceolate up to 3 to 7 cm uh, length okay lanceolate leaves with petioles and four to five uh, sorry up to six leaflets you can observe in uh, one common axis then a prominent midrib that is also visible and stomata is haplochelic petiole is also having stomata this is the feature of saginopterus so that is a 3 uh, uh, to 6 uh, leaflets and they are of with veins and also having uh, lanceolate in shape petiolate leaves this is a leaf see the leaf with the venation uh, that is central midrib that is prominent midrib so the very important part and uh, that you have to study in your syllabus is chitonia that is gristhorpia other term is gristhopia and thomas described uh, that members of chitonaceae they found out uh, two different types of uh, ovule genera clear the two different types observed that is they classified into two genera first they are uh, first observed in the middle jurassic rocks of chiton bay chiton is a place in yorkshire the term chitonia came from that chiton bay and uh, later these two genera were split into one that is chitonia clear 
so first observed two genera uh, or two different types of food group then they given different generic names but later they together merge into one term that is chitonia and rat is a stalk that bear ovule and ovule is having cupulate structure a covered structure a structure that covers the ovule a fruit like structure clear so cupulate structure that covers the ovule and ovule is having uh, rachis or 5 cm long see this is the detailed structure this is a megaspore of it appear like this a common rachis and arranged ovule when you take one fruit or uh, this single one you take you can see like this inside Uh, many seeds are arranged seeds here means ovules these are the ovules they are arranged like this okay so this is a very significant part of uh, our uh, chitonaceae clear okay now cupule or fruit like structure they are the small stalked structure that encloses seeds except at an opening called the mouth see in the here you can see an opening here that opening is the mouth these are the seeds that enclosed in a cover or a fruit like structure that you can call it as cupule okay now and the opening is known as mouth so the opening is mouth and the cover is the cupule in mature fruit mouth is covered with a scale like structure in mature fruit mouth is covered with a scale like structure and that is also known as micropyle then in compressed specimen outlines of seeds observed you know what is this observed as i already told you compression so in compressed type you can see markings of seeds in the compression okay and eight seeds observed in chitonia sivadiana up to uh, 15 seeds in uh, chitonia nafrosti so they are based on the number of seeds present they uh, divide them into species genera into species so eight seeds in sivadiana and 15 seeds in nafrosti okay so a fruit like structure that's a cupule having a small stalk and at the op upper side an opening that opening is the mouth clear that opening you can call it as a micropyle you know in the case of gymnosperms there are micropyle structure and in the case of angiosperms also ovule having micropyle so this structure shows similarity with the micropyle so micropyle so that is evolutionary significance of this structure chitonia okay now see this is an expanded uh, image all parts you can see the stalk of the seed this is the nucellus part integument part and the micropyle the opening clear and this outer covering the structure is the cupule so inside which is the seeds are very much protected see this type of structures or outer covering is usually present in angiosperms that we call it as fruit and inside the seeds are arranged so these are having some common uh, characters that share with angiosperm that is why you can call it as an uh, an evolutionary significance why we say there is an evolutionary significance okay and surface of sac this is surface of sac that bear ovules here the ovules are present here and uh, each seed is a small stalked one seed having a small stalk i that you already shown in the, uh, you got from the picture a stalk and that is unitectmic what is unitectmic only a single layer in the seed and that is orthotropous straight okay then integuments you know integuments are very important pa part that is free from nucellus an integument having epidermis sclerangema and parenchyma so each seed is small stalk and with unitectmic orthotropous which straight single uh, integument and they are free from nucellus and epidermis sclerangema and parenchyma are part of this outer structure the two vascular strands supply each seed okay the tip of the nucellus at the micropylar region form pollen chamber clear at the micropylar region there is a pollen chamber pollen chamber is also a part observed in gymnosperms like uh, that cycas ovule you know spinous uh, ovule you studied so there is a pollen chamber so pollen chamber is also very important part observed at the apex of micropyle and there are two vascular strands reaching to this uh, inside the seed also so, okay so there is a single integument free from nucellus that contain epidermis sclerangema and parenchyma there is a small stalk unitectmic orthotropous with the vascular strands and also pollen chamber clear now there are ridges present in the surface of seeds 
surface of the uh, fruit. So, the number of ridges at occur on the apical region or mouth of that entire structure. When you count the number of ridges, you can see that is equivalent to number of seeds inside. See, so number of markings or ridges present in the mouth is equivalent to number of seeds inside. Clear? So, this is an uh, identification feature. So, we finished the chitonia. So, chitonia is very important. Chitonia is a female fructification or the megasporophyll. It is having a structure, cupule like structure. Inside seeds are protected. There is a micropylar region. There is a pollen chamber, integuments and ovules. Clear? Now, next we are moving on to chitonanthus. What is chitonanthus? Male reproductive part or pollen bearing organ. It contains a rachis bearing opposite pinna. A rachis with opposite pinna. And pinna branched and branchlets bear synangia. Pinna is branched and branchlets bear synangia. Synangia is actually that group of microsporangia. So, it observed uh, exists as synangia. So, they are pendant on the rachis. They are drooping from the rachis. And pollen grains are winged. This feature is also you can compare with the coniferins. Winged pollen grains. Clear? So, pollen bearing organ is chitonanthus. It having an axis or a rachis on which these are arranged. They are oppo bearing opposite pinnae and they are drooping like structure and they are arranged as synangia, group of sporangia. See, so this is the microsporophyll with the synangia. You can see drooping structure. This is the rachis. This is the rachis of microsporophyll. So, pinnate or drooping structure on which the synangia you can observe here. Clear? This is a structure. Now, now very important part is the phylogeny. What is phylogeny? Evolutionary relationship of this group. How this group is related to uh, other members, other groups like pteridophytes, gymnosperms, angiosperms, etc. Okay. So, pinnate character is you can compare uh, with the pteridosperms. Pattern of venation. You studied glossoteris. Glossoteris is actually distinguished by uh, mainly due to the uh, presence of venation. So, based on the venation, we classified the glossopteris into different genera, you know. So, the venation pattern here is also very, uh, very clear. So, by that you can compare it to glossopteris here and bennett tails also. Clear. Then leaf fall is a peculiar feature of this uh, family. So, you can compare with the dicots. And I already told you the stamen like nature and the without filaments microsporangia. So, you can compare it with the angiosperms. And winged pollen grain that coniferales or pinaceae are the family of coniferales that is podocarpaceae. Clear. Then female sex organ. I already told you that cupule like structure with the seeds, micropyle, everything that you can compare with the magnolia of angiosperm. Angiosperms are the very primitive family of Angiosperm is Magnoliaceae. So, you can compare this with the primitive family of angiosperm that is Magnoliaceae. Clear? So, phylogenetic is, uh, importance or phylogeny or evolutionary relationship of this uh, family is very, very, very important. Clear? So, while uh, studying this family, you have to study the structure of chitonia. Chitonia is given in your syllabus as type. So, very important to study the structure of chitonia. So, an overall uh, feature of uh, this family chitoniaceae and its evolutionary significance. Clear? So, that is all for uh, this chitoniaceae. So, have a nice day.